This next fight comes to you out of the 170 pound weight class. Your first fighter out of the blue corner. Fighting out of the MMA, standing five foot, 11 inches tall, looking to get their first win in the cage. Please welcome Garrett Rosenbaum. This is Atlantic MMA's very own Garrett Rosenbaum. We've seen both of his previous fights here at Fight For It coming up short both times, but both outings he was up against extremely uh, experienced opponents, people who had a lot on him in terms of time spent in the cage and time spent in the training room. So I'm very curious to see if he can finally put it together, but in my opinion, this might be one of his biggest tests yet. Against your teammate. Maybe. I mean, well, I, I don't have a lot of personal time training with Khalil. I don't think I've dude, ever even you, uh, physically you miss, you, shook you hands miss, with him. You misunderstand what I'm saying. You come out of that gym, you're a teammate. Yeah, that's true. Right? That's true. So I'm, I'm saying that because. And his opponent fighting at the red corner, standing six foot, two inches tall. Also, to get their first win in the cage. Fighting out of Elevate MMA, please welcome Khalil Pettiford. Because if Khalil loses this fight, you take two body shots from Kosas. All right. All right. All right. Now, <laughs> on the other side of that coin, if he wins the fight, you take one. All right. <laughs> I'm not making a lesser evil. <laughs> but you don't get to throw anything at me. You don't throw anything at me. All right. And there you see Professor Neil Ritchie, the newly cemented black belt out of Elevate MMA Academy, recently promoted. Well deserved and well earned. He's coached and cornered a lot of these fighters for Elevate when Coach Cody Malte could not be there to do the job himself. He is their clutch man. He is their clutch player. And Khalil Pettiford is their newest acolyte. Lots of hype in the training room surrounding this young man. Let's see if he can put it together under the bright lights at Fight Four Twelve. If if I'm Rosenbaum, I'm going straight to the body. Mm. This guy's very long tall. Long in the body, yes. yeah, but he's got long limbs, dude. Let me tell you. Well, the, going to the body would give him a target and help him stay inside of range. I would not stay outside of range with a kid looks like this. Garrett responds with a leg kick of his Ooh. own after that opening shot. Nice. First sanctioned fight for, for Khalil Pettiford in the kickboxing arena. Two has fights he, of experience for Rosenbaum, as we mentioned earlier. Has Khalil done any of those uh, point fights? I don't know his background completely. Um, I know that I've seen some pictures of him boxing, okay. uh, but I don't know if that was sanctioned boxing or just training. Good. Um, but, yeah, I mean, a lot of people strike with him and stand with him and elevate, and they say he's smooth with it. And so far, he's been pretty smooth. Now you can look at, look at the composure. You can tell he's, he's trained something. Well, you gotta. This guy's had like three or four fights booked for his debut, and they've all fallen through. Oh, so this that, is a guy those, who's those been count. getting ready for a long time. Yeah. He's been getting ready for Woo! this for a minute. Big shot there from Rosenbaum takes a, a, a bad shot and shows it, which is an amateur mistake. Never let him know it works. Good body at, uh, attack from Rosenbaum. Now he's pressing Khalil against the cage, but so far we've seen That's some out. of Khalil's best work. That's out. There's uh, no count. I mean, you know, Dale's not there, even counting. There's no yet. count. <laughs> Dale's not even counting yet. There's no count. No, Dale's, I'm telling uh -uh. you, I've seen Dale ref enough fights to know. He's out. Do not let this kid go back in. I've seen Dale ref enough fights to know that <laughs> this kid is going to be allowed to walk back out there unless he physically quits. I told you. No, he's not engaged. He is not engaged. You saw that earlier when he took the first big shot. He didn't. Sh he shook it off. Wow. Now he's being hurt shot. again. Oh, Dale Fry says, do you want to see a dead body? He's counting again. There is no count, Dale. Yes. Yes, that is it. Khalil Pettiford yes. gets it done in one. My goodness. Team Elevate has a new name to watch My out for. Goodness. Big power. That body shot that followed that was right before the finishing blow was horrendous. And it seems like the body shot affected him more than the than the yes. than the finishing blow. Look at Boom. that shot right there. Stops him, slumps Wham. him. Huge finish oh for Khalil goodness. Pettiford. Should have been stopped after the first knockdown, but what can you do? What can you say about it? This is a guy who's going to be a problem. 
That's right. This guy's going to be a problem. He body shot him before he knocked him out. Oh, oh he woke up from getting, he woke up from getting knocked out and his body hurt. <laughs> <laughs> he went down from a straight right, but he curled over. Yeah, okay. he was going down when he got hit. And that'll be that. Garrett Rosenbaum having some trouble even getting back to his feet now. Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, lordy. Yep, slow pan away. Nice <laughs> professional camera work there. <laughs> <laughs> What are you going to do? What are you going to say other than, wow, what a performance from Khalil Pettiford. That was a great performance. Great debut. Like I said, a guy who's been getting ready for a long time, and when it was finally time for those bright lights to shine on him, he put on a bright lights worthy performance with Neil Ritchie and Liam Klepek in his corner. Yeah. You have to count canceled bouts when, uh, when you're in fight camp with the, with the team. Especially when they fall off a week before the card. Oh, yeah. Like, his last yeah. fight was supposed to be on the last fight for it, and I think it was like three or four days, or maybe even less than that, because I think he was actually physically here in the venue, so it might have even been a day that it fell out. So, I mean, you know, this is a guy who, you know, he's been getting ready for a long time, and that preparation showed in the fight. Garrett Rosenbaum keeps biting off these, these big names, and I think it's just time for him to take a step back and maybe – Maybe fight somebody who's not such a killer. It's okay to take a fight against somebody who's not a killer. Wow, that was outstanding. That was outstanding. And a way to end the kickboxing um, before we go into uh, intermission. Wow. You said you, you said you don't strike with this guy in the gym. Maybe you shouldn't. <sighs> I haven't done really any striking since my knee injury, and he kind of came in right when I went out a year ago. So that's why I haven't really seen him on the mats too much. Uh, but I also, you know, I try to – All right, fighters to the center of the ring. Especially if I know somebody from the academy has a fight coming up, I try to avoid – Good job, gentlemen. Your winner by KO out of the red corner and elevate MMA, Khalil. Pettiford! Outstanding. And showing good sportsmanship.